what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigerian politics all right guys uh greetings to you wherever you are so i quickly uh want to update you on this uh reno omar replied to peter b's post about ukraine's green okay i updated you guys i think that was yesterday uh the comment of peter b how uh the reason why uh ukraine center ukraine that is at the center of war uh still sending the grain to country like nigeria that is at peace you understand and definitely personally i knew very well that reno or mockery you understand will reply or respond to that peter b's uh, post you understand and he has finally did it now uh, without wasting much of your time because a lot of people is already reacting many people uh you know you don't need to agree with anybody everybody have their own personal opinion to make okay so your own is for you to agree with them or not to agree with them that is just it you understand it is just a game of interest and Reno Mokri, supporting Tinubu's government, keep telling you that ah, he's, a, he's still a member of a PDP, but everybody knows that politics is a game of interest. The same Reno Mokri that was, um, you know, criticizing Tinubu uh, during the heat up of 2023 election. I mean, one will begin to imagine why will Reno Mokri all of a sudden wakes up and start supporting Tinubu's policy? Well, it is a game of interest. Now, like I told you guys, personally, I knew he would respond to that Peter B's post, okay, according to Reno Mokri, just as you have seen on your screen, that it is very important for Peter B to say that it is a national disgrace for Nigeria to receive food aid from Ukraine because it is a war-torn country. Peter B needs to be educated about Ukraine and wheat. Please fact-check me. Egypt received food food aid from Ukraine long before Nigeria did, and Egypt is still dependent on Ukraine for 60% of its wheat and much of its fertilizer needs. Yet, Egypt is a country that Peter Obi praises. Obi even went to Egypt to study their economy. The attached photo was taken when Obi was visiting and praising Egypt. In fact, Obi is looking well fed in this photo. Maybe the Egyptian fed him a lot from wheat donated to them by Ukraine. It is not it is not everything that we must politicize. Ukraine is the world's seventh largest wheat producer, and the war in Ukraine has nothing, has not affected her position. The whole world was affected when Ukraine wheat could not hit the market. And the World Trade Organization, led by a Nigerian, helped to organize a deal with Russia that allowed Ukrainian wheat to get to countries like America. Please Google it. Ukraine wheat is not only bought by America, but it is also being used as food aid to multiple countries. Obi should stop politicizing hunger. Well, I believe at this point in time, uh, Reno, Reno or Mercury, uh wouldn't have this platform the opportunity to you know, respond to issues like this, if not for the hunger that is going on in Nigeria. That is just the truth. Everyone else complain about this hunger. Everyone else talks about this hunger. But when it got to Peter B's uh, turn to talk about the hunger, what is going on in Nigeria, he decided to respond. That is just it. I am I I am only here to give you guys update. Now, whatever Peter B tweeted, you don't expect everybody to love Peter B. You don't expect everybody to love Atiku Abubakar. You don't expect everybody to love uh, Tinibu. This is the era of politics. You understand? Everybody have their own opinion everybody have their own belief everybody have who they should you know should i say worship or a fan to now let us take a typical example if you go to um, a viewing center 
see how people brag about their football club, the fans bragging about their club. You understand that no matter what happened, even if that club got 6-0 from uh, the opposition club, the way they will stand by that, their club, even if they lose to the opposition club, the way they will defend their club, the way they will, you know, still stand firm and talk about their uh, football club. That is the same thing it happens in political space. That is just it. So Peter B has the right to tweet about the Ukrainian with sent to uh, Ukrainian grain, grain sent to Nigeria. So everybody have it, who they fan, who they love. So that is just it. I quickly want to update you. Uh, the response of Reno Mercury on Peter B's tweet uh, over Ukrainian wheat, or should I say grain, sent to Nigeria. Because it happened at the, at the center where hunger is ravaging Nigeria. I've not remembered the last time, okay, uh, we heard that Ukraine has sent uh, grain to Nigeria or Ukraine has sent, um, you know, wheat to Nigeria. <laughs> oh, sorry for that. Or oh, Ukraine has sent, um, you know, whatsoever to Nigeria. But it happened. Are we going to say that it is coincident? It happened at this time where hunger is ravaging Nigeria. So tell me, why wouldn't people talk about it? Why wouldn't people respond to it? It is a normal something. Because when Nigerians were not complaining about this hunger, when Nigerians were not complaining about this uh, high cost of commodity, when Nigerians were not looting uh, rice from warehouses, when Nigerians were not looting rice from uh, trucks, we didn't hear that Ukraine had sent grains or wheat or millet whatsoever to Nigeria. We didn't hear about that. But it happened during this period. Are we going to say it is a coincidence? But now, Peter B has decided to respond. And Reno Mockery here is bringing some fact checked. It is not about fact checked. It calls for somebody to respond because Reno Mockery may not feel the hunger, what is going on in Nigeria, because it's not in Nigeria. If he was in Nigeria, he would understand what people are going through. You understand? So the fact check has nothing to do with the hunger, what Nigerians are facing, what Nigerians are going through right now. Peter B is only responding because are we going to say that it is a coincidence? No. However, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.